Hey everyone. Yes, I'm back. It's my second video of the day, but um, I spent a good portion of the day in the car. Uh, Washington traffic is fun. I wanted to touch on a couple topics that um, I kind of grazed upon in my last video. So, paparazzi says get uh, insurance for your business. Alright, so we all know that you know, they have these lead and nickel free claims and they don't provide any form of business or liability insurance. So say you're an independent consultant, you're an independent customer of paparazzi, and you sell a piece of jewelry to someone they think it's lead and nickel free. And like I said in my last video, my earlobes turn black with certain pairs of earrings. Okay. In fact you can see a little bit right there because I was wearing a pair of earrings earlier in my second haul and they turned my ears black. Okay, so it's not lead nickel free. Case in point, my ears. Black earlobes. But you could do some serious damage to somebody if, if the product isn't what it says it is. And you're liable because you sold that product. Um, that is what liability insurance is. Okay, so you're liable because you sold a product to somebody through your independent business and paparazzi has in their policies and procedures that they're not on the hook for it. Which is why they're trying to take off lead and nickel free. Um, I haven't looked to see if their website says anything about being lead or nickel free anywhere on their thing anymore. And surprise, surprise, um, they don't even claim the, the product is lead and nickel free anymore. So I'm looking at their website. It says accessorize, invite, and become. Uh, learn more. So I'm going to click on the learn more. Again, it does not say anything about it being lead or nickel free anywhere. Oh, okay, about our products. It says lead and nickel free. So they're making that claim, one of a kind featuring original design style and feel, always changing by when you see it. No, it's not. We know it's not. Don't believe that. It is made in China. At least they admit that it's made in China, available only through our consultants. Um, it's not lead and nickel free. People are, are finding that out all the time. All the time. So, you know, as a consultant customer of paparazzi, uh, you're on the hook if you sell something to somebody and it destroys their skin, burns their ears, causes an infection, uh, causes extreme damage, dermologic damage to the person. Uh, so yeah, that is what liability insurance is for if you're a, a business owner and paparazzi doesn't supply that to their independent consultants. Shocker. Absolute shocker. Okay, and the other thing I wanted to touch on was uh, the the buyback program. Most retail companies, and paparazzi is a retail company, and their customers are their consultants, and the fact that they have such a shitty deal with the buyback program. When I buy a product through uh, Romans or you know uh, what's some of my other Elos a lot of my clothing companies when I, when I buy a product from them you know if it doesn't fit or if it came to me damaged or if it gets damaged before I even finish it finish wearing it for the first time aka like a hole in the sleeve or something um, that company will take it back and they will provide a shipping label so I can ship it back to them and then when they get the product back, they refund the entire purchase price. So, uh, um, you know, if, if you're going to do the buyback, uh, you know, thing, um, they don't give you your sales tax back. They don't give you your shipping back they barely give you two dollars per piece back and then you have to you know hope hope is the word you have to hope that they decide to 
give you your money back on the items that you return to them. But I forgot to say that if they decide not to give you your money back on those items that you ship to them, you're not getting those items back, people. You're getting nothing in return. They're keeping it. So they may deem that it's not eligible for their refund return policy, but you don't get the product you paid for back so you can dispose of it another way. They keep it. They keep it. So I'm going to read the return policy one more time. This is section 9 of the consultant policy and procedure. Okay, As a result of the nature of paparazzi business, excess inventory from a show or a house party is not returnable. In relation to the nature of paparazzi fashion trends and rotating inventory, once a product is purchased and is delivered, that item is not returnable unless it falls under the guidelines of manufacturer defects. See section 9.1. And is identified within three days of receipt. Once a product package is no longer offered, returned inventory is no longer available to be restocked and therefore resold. Any excess products from a show or a party that a consultant may have ordered are encouraged to be used for the next party or show or as hostess gifts. As a result of the fast change of fashion, the potential handling of product and the inability to track single pieces or to resell return items that have already rotated out of the online catalog, most jewelry has been received may be considered resellable and therefore should not be requested to be returned. Any and all volume from the return product will be tracked from the sales organization if within a current commission period or any commis commissions issued would be retracted back from the upline. See section 7.4. <laughs> so, you know, they don't want you to return the items. Uh, and when they do, they give you a whole bunch of hoopla about it, okay? But it, it, it really kills me that manufactured defects, you have to use your, your stupid repair kit to try and fix the product before you request a return. No, I don't think so. That's, that's not how it works. That's not how any retail company would work. If they sent you something that was defected, you return it to them, they give you your money back. Not paparazzi though. They won't give you your money back. You're SOL. Okay? So, you know, they don't want you to do inventory loading, but yet they force inventory on you all the time. And then uh, they tell you that it's not refundable, it's not returnable, you know, inventory buyback. This, this whole inventory buyback is in section 9.6, so I'm going to go over this. In the event that the consultant customer wishes to terminate their account and request that any remaining inventory be purchased back by pap paparazzi only unused, not previously displayed, unopened, never previously worn, and those with the original paparazzi tags will be considered for inventory buyback. Items that don't carry personal volume are not eligible for buyback. In such, e in such an event, the inventory buyback as a result of the changing world of fashion, okay, uh, it would be at a discounted rate of $2 per acceptable unit piece with a retracted $2 personal volume for each unit. Okay, so as a paparazzi consultant, you're not allowed to sell below the $5 price point, ever. As a retail owner of a retail shop, you are not allowed to put pieces on clearance in your store. Everything has to be at $5. You can't sell below the $5. Otherwise, go get your wrist slipped. However, they can, <laughs> they can buy back from you at a discounted price. Again, it makes zero financial sense. It's not fair, and that's what this shitty company does to people. Okay? So, <laughs> acceptable pieces will be determined at the sole discretion of paparazzi. 
and only after review and inspection upon the return. And RMA, return merchandise form, I guess, because it doesn't really give you what RMA means. An RMA number issued and approved by paparazzi support is required prior to any any inventory buyback and return taking place. Oh, so yeah, you have to go on and get approval to do this, and they send you a form that you have to fill out. Uh, or the inventory buyback will not be honored. Well, they don't honor half the shit anyway. They're not an honorable company. I'm sorry, they're just not. They are not... Uh, upstanding people, they take advantage of people, they're they're dishonest in their dealings, they're taking advantage of people that are vulnerable. Um, I could go on and on. <sighs> so, the full accumulation of the returned product volume will be retracted from the organization as stated in section 7.4. And the most recent commissions will have been earned by the terminating consultant may be retracted and removed from returning funds as a result of retracting volume, uh, which may have qualified them within the paparazzi compensation plan for previous awarded bon bonuses. What the f Okay. <laughs> Refuse deliveries. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going on section 9 for a second because they have this. In any circumstance where paparazzi inventory order is refused at the door and returned to paparazzi, the ordering consultant will be liable for a $15 refusal fee issued by the delivery service as well as 10% restocking fee to restock the unopened inventory. If an order is canceled after it has left the warehouse, a $15 recall fee will be charged to the consultant. Man, this is just not right at all. You know, they like to say consultant. So, you know, once you buy something, don't cancel it. Otherwise, it would restocking fee or a refusal fee. But let's go to 7.1 because I want to see what 7.1 is all about. Oh, it's all about bonuses and commissions. I don't give a flying rat's ass about that because I never got a bonus or a commission because I didn't recruit. I refused to do it. And I didn't give a a flying rat's ass about those who were getting bonuses and commissions off of me. But, ugh, Section 9 is just full of disgust. Full of disgust. And it's just, ugh, refused delivery, business auto ship, or fa fashion fix, uh, method of payment for your fashion fix, getting on the fashion fix waiting list, sold out items, canceling a rerouting delivery. Ugh. Okay, so today, um, when new releases dropped, I did notice that there was one oil slick piece that dropped and uh, it took three minutes, three minutes for this this oil slick piece to sell out. Three minutes, you guys. That's that's something that's like, that's their bread and butter is these dumb oil slick pieces. But let me find the picture. I'm going to pull it up because I downloaded a picture of these god-awful things before they sold out. Oh, and here, I'm going to put the camera up so you can see it. So those, those three minutes, people, they sold out in three minutes. That is crazy. So they're ear crawlers. Well, you know, ear crawlers are all over uh, Nihau jewelry right now. And then we had these ugly pink hearts and then oh we had another inspirational piece that said trust in the lord and it had the blue and white marbly beads you know because we got to continue with our blasphemous theme here trust in the lord and then what else did we have today oh uh the blue crystally looking beads with the little square beads and it was a set of bracelets the stretchy bracelets that you know will stretch apart in seconds but yeah, so let me back up and put my mug up so my camera will refocus. Where's my Disney mug? Why is my camera being such a pain? I turn it around and then it gets all upset. All right, there. Yeah, this is my tinsel sweater. It's so pretty. All right, so uh, thank you, Miss Jones, for the compliment today about my eye makeup before I went out into the rain. Uh, appreciate the compliment. It was kind of nice to hear that. So, and then I got the song Simply Irresistible and what was the other one? Addicted to Love stuck in my head. So thanks for that. <laughs> so, oh, 
you know, that's just something I wanted to touch base on is the buyback program and uh, the liability insurance. Yeah, if, if you're going to sell a product and that product has claims that it's lead and nickel free and it's not lead and nickel free, you're on the hook if the product you sell to somebody does damage to them, not paparazzi. So that was the main, the main point I wanted to make today in the second video. And beyond that, um, I appreciate the comments, you guys. Keep them coming. I love reading your comments, and I love responding to you guys. So if you have questions or if you want my thoughts on a specific topic, let me know. I'll be happy to share my thoughts because uh, that's pretty much what I do all day anyway on this thing is share my thoughts. And... Uh, yeah, so life is good. Mm -hmm. I am counting down the days for uh, my Vegas vacation, and I'm looking forward to going down and eating at Egg Works in Vegas. And if you've never been to Vegas, you need to go. And uh, I'm going down, and I'm going to follow the CDC guidelines, and I'm going to keep my vaccination card on me, and I'll keep my mask on me when I'm in public places. And I'm looking forward to Gordon Ramsay restaurants and Egg Works off Sunset and Easter because that place is stellar. Anyway, have a great rest of your day. This is short and sweet. Emily out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.